While everyone loves to talk about a first round selection, myself included, I also love an underdog story, and if there's one thing Lynch has been able to do, it's find those stories later in the draft and undrafted. In recent years, for instance, San Francisco has been able to pick up Kittle, Juwan Jennings, and Purdy all later in the draft. So now looking at this rookie class, the biggest potential still that I believe is going to make real shockwaves during this training camp is Evan Anderson, the 6'3", 326-pound defensive tackle from Florida Atlantic University. During his time at FAU, Anderson was known for blowing up double teams, but if that wasn't scary enough, he also was athletic enough to chase down your quarterback. So in this video, I wanted to dive deeper into the player Evan Anderson is, and if he can actually be a successful player for San Francisco and Chris Kisarek going forward. To do that, I want to dive a little bit deeper into his film and what really sets himself apart from his peers. The first thing that I think really stands out on Anderson's film is the power he plays with. On this play for instance, he's getting double teamed but if you watch where these guys are driving him, it's absolutely nowhere. But taking up two blocks wasn't enough for Anderson. He also did an excellent job of shedding his block and making the tackle on this play. In a similar way on this play, Anderson is facing a double team block and I think it shows off a lot of what he does well. The first thing that immediately stands out is how he's getting off this ball in a hurry. He's getting off just as quickly as either the guard or center on this play. And then once he does engage with this guard, He's fighting him off with his hands rather than just allowing him to get inside his chest. And then once off that block, he gets skinny inside the hole which often proves too much for guards and centers. Anderson doesn't use his power just to dominate against double teams. He also is able to transition that nicely to a pretty mean bull rush move. The thing about Anderson that really sets himself apart to me though, he's not just a one trick pony. He's not always using his power or always using his quickness, but he has a nice mixture in his game. This play might show off one of Anderson's best move, which is that double hand swipe he uses on a ton of offensive linemen. And he's able to utilize this whether going against a run or a pass, and it's extremely effective. Here you can see it one more time in action. It's almost like a judo throw, he engages with the guard and then throws him back before just blowing up this back. And you can see all the variations he has within his game. Here for instance, he's not doing the full on judo throw, but he is doing a good job with that double hand swipe and you can see how it causes this guard to completely whip on him. Another move close to any defensive lineman's heart that Anderson has mastered is the swim move. He has one of the nastiest swim moves I've seen out of a big man in a long time. Outside of just his pass rush moves, Anderson is an excellent football player. He's extremely quick to recognize the play, and then his pursuit is insane. His motor doesn't just run hot, but he does have the athleticism, especially within like 10 or 20 yards, to chase down the play and make a big play for your team. When you watch some of these QB reads, for instance, you can see how Anderson is rarely fooled. He is routinely making the right choice and rarely allows a cutback lane. On this play, for instance, you can see how this quarterback tries to take it and get away from Anderson, but he's just too athletic for that. While there's a lot to like about Anderson's game, I believe his biggest weakness is just the lack of amount of moves he has. While he has a couple of great moves, he just needs to continue to expand that to really become effective as an NFL pass rusher. But just because he's not 100% developed, that doesn't mean he can't fulfill a role for San Francisco. Most notably, I think he can be a mean run stop specialist. His ability to get upfield in a hurry reminds me of a guy like DJ Jones, and then being able to also be unfazed by double teams is something rare to find. So those are the reasons why I believe Evan Anderson could be an undrafted free agent that could actually make a push for this team. But I want to hear your thoughts. Do you think Anderson actually has a shot at making the roster or do you think this is just hopeful thinking it would also mean a ton if you liked and subscribed and as always i hope you guys have a great rest of your day